What's up everybody? Ryan here from Life in the Middle. Uh, this is my gear review for Zero Shoes Terraflex. So if you are a backpacker and you're thinking about buying these shoes for backpacking, you may want to stick around and watch this video. By no means is this a definitive review of Zero Shoes. There's plenty of those videos to be found online. I'm not going to go over specs and all that stuff. I'm sure you can, you can find that if that's what you're after. I did a lot of research before buying my Zero Shoes, as I always do for a piece of gear that I'm going to spend hard-earned money on, and I thought I'd found a really great, a great company. Uh, everything about the shoe looked great. Um, they're not terrible looking. Uh, everything about them appears to be good quality. However, after a short day hike and a 42-mile backpacking loop in the Grand Canyon, they just absolutely fell apart. Now I'm not one of those people that has something fail on them and they think it's just the worst company in the world and the worst product and everything else. So I figured I'd give them another chance. I called customer support and informed them what had happened and they quickly sent me another pair. So I wore those for a couple day hikes and just to the gym other than that. Fast forward to August of 2021, we are getting ready to, we're prepping for our trip to Glacier Peak Wilderness where we're going to backpack for five days and as I'm looking over my shoes I realize that they are these are falling apart as well and mind you I've only worn them in the gym and a short day hike and as you can see here if I can get it in focus right along the edge right here delaminating on both pairs so it's not terrible but there was just no way I was going to be wearing these shoes on a five day backpacking trip and worried about whether or not they're going to fall apart on me. I wasn't going to take another chance with a pair of them. So I got online and started looking at all the popular brands of barefoot shoes and everybody was out. Vivo Barefoot, every single shoe that I looked at, all retailers did not have a single shoe in stock. So out of desperation, I get on Amazon and I type in barefoot backpacking shoes or barefoot hiking shoes, whatever it was. And the first thing that popped up was a company named Witten. W-H-I-T-I-N. So right away, the first thing I noticed about them is they're not really cool looking, which isn't that big of a deal when you're backpacking. But uh, I seen the price and it said $37.99. So right away I thought, there's no way I'm going to buy these shoes. They're, they're cheap. They're they're not gonna last me, They're not gonna be high quality. So I scroll and scroll and I search and search and search and come back finally to the Witten shoes and uh, I click on it to get a little better uh, view of what I was looking at. And I noticed that there's like, at that time there was something like 8,000 reviews of these shoes and mostly, mostly positive reviews. And uh, I read them to make sure they sounded legitimate and they do. So I decided to take a chance on them. I uh, pulled the trigger, bought them, and uh, here's what they look like. So I've worn these on two backpacking trips. The one I mentioned to Glacier Peak Wilderness, and also back in October in the Great Smoky Mountains. And you can see the tread on these things is still, I mean, basically brand new. They've got 75 miles carrying a heavy pack and they're still in great shape. They were comfortable for me. They had decent grip. I will say that the Zero Shoes had a little bit better grip. And, and to be fair, I, I think Zero Shoes is still probably a great company. Uh, I won't buy their shoes again because, well, two pairs have failed for me. But uh, the other thing to consider is Zero Shoes are $109 and these are $42. I know I said $37.99, but this particular pair was $42.99 versus $109. So you can buy two and a half of these for the price of one of these. Other than the fact that they just didn't hold up, I'd probably give the Zero Shoes a nine out of 10 for comfort, fit, um, Gave my toes plenty of room inside. I didn't get any blisters in the Grand Canyon where everybody else in my group, their feet were pretty tore up in their boots. Uh, the Wittens, I'd probably give them a seven and a half or an eight. 
Um, overall, I still think they're a really good shoe, especially when you consider they're only $42.99. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I'd be buying a pair of $42 Chinese made shoes off of Amazon and be doing a review about them telling you how much I like them and that I'll probably be wearing them for a great long while. So yeah, just something to think about. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna say zero shoes are, are bad. I know a lot of people love them and I'm probably gonna catch a lot of flack for this video. But like I said, this is, this is my experience. Um, maybe you're gonna have an experience like me and I personally would like to have this kind of information before I made a purchase. So hope you appreciate the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up, give it a like, uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.